Hello friends, today we're going to read a book called Grandfather Clock. Let's begin. <clears throat> Grandfather Clock. Grandfather Clock lives in TikTok Cottage. He's a nice old fellow and everybody likes him particularly. Because of one thing he can do that nobody else can do. He can tell you the time. Now, that doesn't sound like something nobody else can do, does it? But Grandfather Clock doesn't tell you the time like other people tell you the time. Oh no, he turns into the time. Just like that. <clears throat> Early one morning... Grandfather Clock was fast asleep in his bedroom at TikTok Cottage. A bird started singing outside his bedroom window, and that woke him up. Oh, he yawned. I wonder what time it is. And he turned himself into that time and looked at himself. The big hand pointed to his number 12. The little hand pointed to his number 5. Oh, no. He groaned. It's only five o'clock, and that's much too early to get up. So he turned himself back into himself and turned over and went back to sleep. Later, he woke up again. This time, the big hand pointed to his top, and the little hand pointed to number seven. That's better, he said. Seven o'clock, and that's getting up time. So he got up. <clears throat> Grandfather Clock had a boiled egg for breakfast. Boiled for exactly four minutes. It's quite useful being a clock as well as a person. And after break breakfast, he went for a walk. He met Farmer Smiles on his way to the market. Can you please, can you tell me the time, please? Farmer Smile said, smile. Certainly, replied Grandfather Clock. His big hand pointed to his top. And his little hand pointed to his number nine. Oh dear, said Farmer Smiles, not smiling. It's not a clock. I'm late. And off he rushed. Grandfather Clock walked all morning. He walked until the little hand had moved from number nine to number twelve. Both hands were pointing to his number twelve. Hello, said Miss Old Miss. Trunkle, who was looking over the garden hedge, it's twelve o'clock. That's lunchtime, said Grandfather Clock. That's right, conkled Miss Mr. Conkle, and invited him in for lunch. <clears throat> that, af <coughs> that afternoon, Grandfather Clock continued his walk. He was passing his school when the teacher put his head out of a window. I know what you're going to ask me, Grandfather Clock grinned and turned himself into the time. The big hand pointed to his top, and the little hand pointed to his number three. Three o'clock, said the teacher. Time to go home, shouted all, ch all the children in his class. Grandfather Clock walked along with two of the children from school. Is it true you can turn yourself into the time, they asked. Definitely, he smiled. Will they come home with us and show us? They asked. Certainly, he laughed. Later, he showed them how he, how, how he could turn into the time. The big hand's pointing to your top, cried a boy. And your little hand's pointing to seven, cried a girl. And that means it's seven o'clock, said Grandfather Clock. And that means it's bad time, said the children's mother. After their bath, the children put on their pajamas, and Grand Grandfather Clock read them his story. What time is it now? They asked, asked when, they, when he had finished. Grandfather Clock showed them. The big hand's pointing to your top, said the girl. But your little hand moved on to, to your number eight, said the boy. So, it is, so the time is eight o'clock, said Grandfather Clock. So it's bedtime, said, ch said the children's mother. The children went to bed and, and Grandfather Clock went, to ho went home. 
By the time he arrived back at TikTok Cottage, the big hand was pointing to his top, and the little hand was pointing to his number 10. 10 o'clock. That's late. It was so late, and he was so tired after walking all day. He, w he went straight to bed, in fact. He is so tired. Do you, do you know how long Grandfather Clock slept? Right around the clock. And that's the end of chapter. That, and that's the end of Grandfather Clock. See ya. And also, tomorrow I'm going to make Grandfather Clock with pebbles. Let's wait for tomorrow. Bye.